I'm going to show you how to create the vignette effect here in Photoshop. Um, typically, a, a vignetting isn't something you want. It's a vignetting, you know, it's an undesirable effect that a, a, a lower um, quality lens produces. But sometimes you can use it to really draw your viewer into the center of your image. And I wouldn't use a vignette. Um, all the time by any means. I would use it in very specific scenarios and even this example here um, I, I wouldn't put a vignette on it. Um, typically an illustrator, a photographer, takes a photograph for a purpose and they they want to tell a story. In this image I created of the bedroom I wanted the viewers eye to be brought to the bed. So what I did is I used some volumetric lighting through the windows, again done in Photoshop, and then I used contrast between light and dark on the um, the light on the ground, and the eye would typically stop here, but I didn't want it to stop here, so I created some contrast here with the, the glow on the back wall. So my intent was the viewer to come into the image, come up here, and instead of stopping, the eye is going to be brought to contrast and end up right here. That was my my intent, and I, I I believe I I was successful. So adding a vignette would contradict on what I was trying to achieve. But I'm going to use this as an example anyway. Um, I'm going to drag and drop and, and create a new layer. And this layer, I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. I'm going to use my marquee tool and create a rectangular selection. I'm going to keep an approximate um, distance around the perimeter, an equal distance around the perimeter. I'm going to come up to select, modify, and feather. I'm going to use 250 pixels as my feather radius and you can play with this. Um, hit OK and I'm going to go to select, layer mask, and hide selection. And there is my my vignette. So in Photoshop, dark reveals white conceals um, all the way around I'm sorry white reveals dark conceals so where the white is that's where the effects gonna be seen where the dark is that's where it dissipates the gray is the in between if you find that the effect is a little too strong you can drop back your opacity and if I were to use a vignette on this one that would be too strong so I would drop it down to something like 30 if for some reason you want a very very strong vignette and a lot of times if you're trying to produce a, an old time image you'd want a darker vignette you can bring the opacity all the way back up and duplicate that duplicate that layer to get a stronger effect um, so I'm going to drop that layer here in CS5 and I believe CS4 you do have a filter a lens correction filter and this does the same thing um, you can choose your camera your model, if you notice there, it did get a little fisheye from the lens. Your model and your lens. And this particular combination will not produce that vignette. But you could come here to custom and override those settings. So here my vignette amount, darker, lighter, midpoint. Let's bring the slider to the darker side. You can see the vignette coming in. Midpoint is the center and out. So right now it's right in the center of my image and it um, dissipates out so I can drag that in so it gets darker towards the midpoint um, so you can get a pretty nice vignetting going on using the lens filter